just be yourself. Uh, don't don't try to be uh, girls uh, and Darlene Check. If she was sitting here with me, she'd say the same thing. Don't try to be Darlene Check, guys. Don't try to be Chris Tomlin, Michael W. Smith, uh, Ron Canoli, or Israel Houghton. Uh, you you got to be yourself. And and the wonderful thing these days, you got so many resources to choose from. The bad thing about that is you can start duplicating and replicating something you've seen on TV or a DVD, and it's not going to ring true to your congregation, all right? Be yourself. Uh, the sooner you come to grips with that, the sooner you will feel God's authority around you when you stand up to lead worship. You know, for many years, I struggled. I'd be on a stage with people. I'd look across. There'd be and Michael W. Smith and Chris Tomlin and Alvin Slaughter and 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 Lenny LeBlanc and all these guys and I'm, I'm thinking, what am I doing on this stage? And in one ear, I would hear, "Hey, Don Moen is not enough. You better dial it up, boy." And in the other ear, I would hear, "Just be yourself." And that's that. I think is the Holy Spirit, the same. Be yourself. And I can only be Don Moen, and o- you can only be who God has made you to be. He will never anoint who you want to be. God will anoint who you are. Let me say that again. God will not anoint who you want to be. He anoints who you are. He made you just the way you are. You may not be perfect. You may not be the most beautiful, handsome person out there, but God has put you in this place because he's going to use you just the way you are. So be yourself. All right. If you forget everything I said to you today, remember that. Be yourself. Start there. That'll translate to your audience. It'll translate to the people. They're going to say, I believe, I believe her. I believe him. They're they're, they're just the real deal up there. And that's going to build a healthy church and a healthy environment. All right.